Hi, I'm Mike McCormick, live at GBTA Studios here in Toronto, and I'm here with Greg Allsworth, who's the Director of Enterprise Sales in Canada for Chrome River. Greg, thanks for coming. Yeah, thank you very much for having me. So, theme for the conference here is Evolve, and certainly your part of the, the industry has been evolving, certainly maybe has. even more rapid pace as of late. Um, you just had a merger with Certify yep. and uh, continuing to expand in the marketplace. So first off, tell me a bit about that. What does it mean for everyone here in Canada? And, uh, and then we'll go from there. Right, we're really excited about the merger. It's, uh, it brings uh, Chrome River together on the enterprise level with Certify, which has worked a little more in the, in the mid-market and, uh, and some other brands, Nexonia, right. Expense Watch as well. And we feel like it gives us a really, really good offering now across all parts of the uh, of the industry, and allows us to really compete at uh, at a very high level. So we're we're really excited about the uh, about the merger. That's great. Um, so you know, talk about that. Let's talk about the industry and and kind of certainly expense side of it. What what are the trends? What have we been seeing? And what you know, kind of looking out the next twelve months or so. Like, what are you seeing for uh, you know the industry on a whole? I think we're seeing a couple of trends. One of, the, one of the big trends we're seeing is the increased flow of data. So we're seeing data really flow a lot more seamlessly from travel management companies to expense systems, from vendors to right. into, into us, from, uh, and from a lot of different, different avenues, because the expense system is really where all of that data comes together and can be, can be really useful to people. So I think, I think that increased flow of data is one trend that we're really seeing. Okay. Uh, the other trend that's, that we're really seeing as well is all around usability. It's how do you make a system, uh, an expense system, easier for the user? How do you make it more frictionless, maybe, right. within their job? Right. Sort of getting as close to zero clicks to be able to do your expense report right. as you can. And I think you're seeing a lot of organizations like ourselves really head towards that now. Well, yeah, because the expectations keep increasing, right? right? It's not a matter of if I have a system, now I do, what can it do for me? And this whole notion of really enabling the, the end yeah. user, the, the actual traveler, to your point of taking as many clicks away, yeah. making the experience great, and then they're optimizing their time on, you know, in terms of how they're spending it. Like, look, no one wants to be doing a lot of the archaic reconciliation and it's wasting valuable time for your employees. Right, let's, let's face it, as much yep. as business travel can be fun and it's great to be able to, to go and travel on the company's dime, it's not glamorous and it's hard work. No, it's and if you, have right. to, if you have to spend a lot of time doing expenses yep. and paperwork, it just makes it, uh, it makes it more of a challenge. So what pain points right, right now, if you look at where it's evolved to, what pain points are you looking at to solve today? Like what are the hot buttons with your travelers and with your customers today? I think, the, I think the hot buttons are, uh, we talked about usability, that's always, companies always want to figure out how they can make it better, easier, and, and, and give their users a little more better experience. But also, the other side of that is on the, the back end, on the finance side. How can you take that data and all of that information about where people are traveling, who they're traveling for, right. what they're doing, where they're spending that money, and how can you make some real data-driven decisions with that? Right. So we're seeing a real push towards the, the use of analytics, the use of it towards being able to iterate policy, either make policy tighter, make policy looser where it needs to be, based on, but based on actual data, nothing right. circumstantial, what's actually happening with the travelers. Right. Yeah, and that no whole notion, the old notion about being out of policy being bad, it does, that's not true. It just means that your your needs, your travelers are changing. They're trying to optimize the company's time and making it, you know, the, the experience as productive as they can. Right. So you have to pay attention to those things in a different way than maybe years ago, right? Yeah. And yeah. you know, the more that you make policy easy for people to stay within, yeah. the more they'll stay within it. Right. Uh, you know, right. a, a seven dollar for lunch per diem in New York you're probably not going to be able to keep somebody within that. That won't get you past the no, street vendor, it, if you know, that, right? It, it might work yeah. in Kansas City, but right. uh, you know, so you really have to, uh, you really have to use that data and, and try Wisely. to make your users, yep. uh, your users invaluable for them. Well, Greg, thanks for your insight. Thanks for stopping by the studio. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank you very much. And I'm Mike McCormick, live from GVTA Studios here in Toronto.